afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for the Ohio Association of College Admission Counselors. We thank you for being here. And we have your Bowling Green State University representative, Sarah, with us today. Um, you will be able to ask Sarah questions through pushing your Q&A button and you will be able to type questions for her at any point in time. She has someone moderating for her name, Katie, and Katie will be watching those questions to monitor how those are coming in for you. Just know that your camera and microphone are off and a recording will be available. All you have to do to sign up for more sessions other than this one for BG and to get a recording of this session for Bowling Green is visit our www.oacac website and you will find lots more information on your college search. Enjoy your presentation and I'll see you in about 45 minutes. All right. Thank you so much for the introduction. I'm going to go ahead and switch gears over here and just share my screen with you all. Perfect to kick things off. Well, thank you again for taking the time to join us and learn a little bit more about BGSU this afternoon. My name is Sarah. I serve as the Assistant Director of Admissions uh, and I get to be your presentation for the afternoon. As previously mentioned, my colleague Katie has also joined us. She'll be here to keep an eye on the chat. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please feel free to pop it in that chat and she'll make sure to get you an answer. And if there's any questions that she feels like I should address in general to the group at the end, she will of course send those my way via a little chat that we have up as well. Um, and so that way I can make sure to get those answered. Um, but basically before we dive in, I wanna start by saying, I wanna make this interactive. You all have, are, or you all are likely spending a lot of time doing things virtually these days. And you know, just sitting and listening to a video and things like that or just sitting and listening to a presentation it can be exhausting you know I, I remember our early days of switching to work from home and by the time five o'clock hit you know I my eyes were tired my body was ready to get up and stretch and all of that and so I want to make sure to just have some fun with you all this afternoon so built into my BGSU presentation, I have ways for us to be able to interact. And I would really, really love it if you all would take the time to do it. So up on your screen, you should see a QR code that you can scan, or there's a web address at the top, starts with AHA slides and it ends in a letter and number sequence. Pull this up on your phone. I'm gonna have things throughout the presentation and it's gonna guide you, you know, as you're on that website of how to participate, but it's going to be a way for you to basically be able to type in responses, type in thoughts, um, be able to contribute to the conversation and it'll pull up on the screen. It won't show any personal information. It will not show who's saying what or anything like that. It's just a fun way for us to be able to kind of interact even from afar. So without further ado, hopefully you guys all have the QR code. The web address will stay up at the top throughout the whole time. So um, let's kick things off. So first up, we are going to, give me just one second here. Move on. So let's start off with this. What do you all wanna learn the most about during today's presentation? Um, as you're on the website, you should be able to see a series of options. Go ahead and click your responses. What are you hoping to hear about? Visiting campus, the Honors College, scholarships, activities. Are there other things you're hoping to hear about? Um, go ahead and punch in your responses. Let's, let's see how things go. Um, and you'll be able to, of course, as you can tell, see how others are responding. So campus activities, visiting, scholarships, majors. Okay. All right. This is good. These are all definitely things we're going to cover. Scholarships appears to be the most popular, um, which I can't blame you there. College is expensive. We will absolutely cover um, how to make it a much more affordable option. Majors. That's fantastic. Okay. That is a awesome way to kick things off. So like I said, Y'all are in luck. We're of course gonna cover all of those things and then some today. So I always like to say our presentation is kind of divided into two halves. 
The first half is going to give you that really good general BGSU overview. You know, we're going to talk about campus, our community, our academics, living on campus, getting involved, you know, that kind of uh, general picture of the university. Then the second half of the presentation, I'm going to really dig into the nitty gritty of it all. I'm going to talk through majors, or excuse me, I'm going to talk through the admissions timeline, next steps, scholarships, cost, all those key pieces that you need to know as you're working to make that college decision, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. So for anybody who's maybe not familiar with Bowling Green, Ohio itself, I wanna cover that a little bit. Bowling Green is very much so a college town. We are one of those places where you have everything you need in the city of Bowling Green. You've got Chipotle, you've got your grocery stores, you've got all those things that let you know we're a real city, right? But at the same time, when you go to our downtown area, you're going to find local coffee shops, local boutiques, our local restaurants, some of the favorite pizza stops in town. You know, those little things and those little places that are gonna add to your college experience in their own unique way. You'll notice we were voted one of the best college towns. Two of the factors that went into that or affordability and safety. I think it is so important as you're going through your college search to be able to start to not only look at the campus itself of the college you're looking at, but the community that surrounds that campus. It is also a huge key player in your overall college experience. And we are so lucky to have a strong, safe community at Bowling Green, Ohio to be able to back up everything that we're doing here at BGSU. But of course, Campus is where you're gonna spend most of your time. So let's talk about campus. BGSU is considered to be a mid-sized institution. We've got about 16,000 undergraduate students here on our campus. The rest of the population you see on your screen comes from folks who attend our branch campus and then from folks who are pursuing a degree beyond their bachelor's degree. Now of the incoming class, about 15% will come from out of state. We do have students that come from all 50 states to attend Bowling Green. And about 20% of the incoming class is of a different cultural background. And we have students that come from 70 different countries to attend BGSU. So we're very lucky to have a very welcoming, um, diverse community here at BGSU. Um, and, you know, all of these things are going to be able to contribute to that and be a part of it. So talk, speaking about majors, as we started to talk about, what majors are you all thinking about? So if you go back to your phones, you should be able to um, type in some words. Type in what major you're thinking of. Um, type in, yep, there we go, we've got social work. It's gonna form a word cloud of all of the things that you guys contribute here. So throw them up there. Business administration, that's fantastic. I love seeing that. Um, continue to go ahead and type them in there. Finance, another business person here, that's amazing. We've got marine biology and general biology. That's awesome. Keep them coming. Any others that you wanna be able to throw up there? Electrical engineering, very good. Let's see, education, teaching, of course, computer science, software development. This is awesome. I love seeing these. Very good. Okay, cool. Let's see, um, we might have one more that popped up. Public health, very good, awesome. Thank you all for participating. I hope you're having fun with it because it is so fun for us to be able to see your responses and see your answers. Construction, this is great, very good. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna move ahead forward to the next slide. Again, thank you for playing along with us. Um, so we are in luck. I didn't see a major up there that we don't have. So that's a really, really great sign. So at BGSU, we have about 200 different majors and programs. All of our majors and programs basically get divided up into our six main academic colleges, okay? So you can kind of envision the overarching umbrella of BGSU and beneath it, we've got our six academic colleges that act like pillars kind of beneath that overarching umbrella. Um, and so within your academic college, you will of course, um, you will have your dean who oversees your college. Uh, you will have your academic advisor who's helping you schedule courses, progress towards graduation, stay on track, you know, all of these, these folks that'll be a part of your experience with you at BGSU. 
Now, again, with all those different majors that I even just saw quickly um, on that cloud, um, you know, you can kind of start to probably visualize where you're going to be a part of. Um, so marine biology, biology, you're going to be part of our College of Arts and Sciences. Um, you know, the couple folks who've mentioned business, you know, that's going to, of course, fall into our Schmidt Horse College of Business. Um, you know, we've got uh, our education and human development. I saw, of course, somebody who's interested in teaching. Um, so, you know, you can start to kind of visualize how this all comes together. Together. You know, quickly you'll see up there we've also got our Firelands College. This is actually our branch campus over in Huron, Ohio, right by Cedar Point. They oversee uh, our two-year degree programs here at BGSU, and they also, of course, have a handful of bachelor's degrees as well. So just know we do also even have that branch campus option here at Bowling Green um, if you happen to live over in that area. Uh, we've got our graduate college for anybody pursuing degrees beyond their bachelor's degree um, or beyond, or who are looking basically to pursue, again, beyond their bachelor's degree, a master's program, or a doctoral program with us at the university. Health and Human Services, public health student, that's of course where you're going to fall. Um, and then right below that, you're going to see we also have a college, we call it kind of our uh, unofficial seventh college, if you will, of our honors college here at BGSU. So the Honors College is basically a way for you to challenge yourself a little bit further academically when you come to BGSU. You can almost envision our Honors College as being like a small liberal arts college, um, you know, underneath, again, that big BGSU umbrella. Honors courses are done a little differently. They're more critical thinking. They're more discussion based, a little less of a teacher lecturing at you and more of that full classroom discussion. So if that's a learning environment that sounds interesting to you, if that's something that you can picture yourself in, um, just know that we do have that as an opportunity at BG. Once you apply for regular admission, then you can access our honors college application. They do have their own separate application. So keep that in mind. Um, and so just again, know that that is an opportunity if that's something that you're maybe thinking about or considering um, as you look towards your future um, away at college. So then, of course, we have our College of Musical Arts. Um, so they, of course, we have, you know, folks who major in performance, music education, things like that, all within there. And then we also have our College of Technology, Architecture, and Applied Engineering. I know I saw electrical engineering in there. So, of course, you can see this is where you'd fall. This is also where construction management is housed. Um, you know, we have our a full technology building here on campus. You know, we're, you know, the, you'll see, of course, the materials our construction management students are using, the robotics that our engineering students are using using, um, the computer labs, of course, that our students are using, all kind of centrally housed in one location, which is really nice. And then you all will also see a couple programs here at the bottom. So you'll see, of course, we've got, first off, our deciding student program. You know, in the Office of Admissions, we work with a lot of folks who are maybe not exactly sure what they want to study. You know, maybe you've got a couple ideas of what you want to study. Maybe you've got five ideas and you just don't know how to narrow it down. That's okay. Um, so know that if you fall into that pool, you absolutely have a major to choose. It's called our deciding student program. And yes, it is a choice. You know, choosing to go into this program is making that selection. You are not off floating over in no man's land just because you didn't pick, you know, one of those other 200 majors. Uh, you will still have an advisor to work with. You will have um, an office to go to. You will have all the same support services as any other student on campus. That advisor will use the flexibility that you have early on in your college career to help you explore your likes, your dislikes, your strengths, your weaknesses, you know, really help you kind of home in on what that exact major is, like what's that right fit for you versus changing your major three to four times along the way, right? Um, and so just know that's absolutely an option that we have and it is a completely, you know, phenomenal option to choose from. I know it can be hard to maybe envision going undecided and, you know, you might feel pressured to just pick a major just to pick it. You don't need to do that. You can absolutely start in this program and still stay on track for graduation. And then right below that, you'll see we also have a program here at BGSU called our Pathway Program. Basically, this is a program we internally review students for in the Office of Admissions. If we see students who are falling just below what we'd be looking for for full admission to BG, this Pathway Program is a way for students to still join us on main campus, still take full college level courses, but have some extra support and guidance along the way throughout their first year. And so just know there's also opportunities like that at BGSU. Now, of course, you know, there are some things that are unique to BGSU and our 
academics as well. So I want to quickly talk about that. Um, you know, for example, for my business folks, um, you might, I don't know if you would have heard maybe, um, our College of Business is actually our first named college at BGSU. So our College of Business recently just became our Schmidt Horse College of Business, and it is now housed in our brand new Mauer Center. Um, so we have a brand new business building here on campus that just opened for this fall of 2020. Um, so you've got uh, an incredible terrace to be able to, to enjoy, um, phenomenal study spaces, classroom spaces, all brand new things to be able to take advantage of as a business major at BGSU. Marine biology. We're one of few schools um, here that in the state that have a full marine biology program. We have a full marine biology lab here on campus. Um, so there's you know, all sorts of critters in that marine bio lab here on campus. As students in the program, you're charged with, of course, um, taking care of um, the animals in the tanks and, and keeping that lab running. Um, and of course, you know, for those looking at us for science, those research opportunities are huge. At BGSU, we've got a full center for undergraduate research here at BG um, to be able to help you um, take advantage of those research opportunities, to make sure you're having those extra experiences with the, the faculty here on campus, getting those experiences outside the classroom setting. Um, so just know those are opportunities. You know, when it comes to education, you know, we started off as a school for education major, so it's in our blood. Um, so just know that, you know, no matter what major you might pick, there's a ton of great options and we've got the support here to help you. All right. So what is all that support, right? First up, you'll see on your screen that we have what's called our Learning Commons. This is our free tutoring center here on campus. At no additional cost, students are always able to openly take advantage of our tutoring center here at BGSU. Our tutoring center is located right within our libraries. Hopefully it's a place that you're using frequently to study and things like that. Um, and what's nice is the tutors are your peers, other undergraduate students who of course were successful in their courses and then wanted to turn around and tutor in them. Um, and so just know you'll always have those resources outside of the classroom, of course. But in addition to that, you'll have resources inside the classroom. You're gonna to get to know your teachers. They're gonna to get to know you. You're going to get to know your classmates. Um, you know, you're gonna have a lot of folks here who are fighting for you in your corner, helping you to be successful. All of your professors will have office hours, times where you know they're ready and waiting, door is open, you can swing by with questions, and I encourage you to do so. And if you don't have questions, just pop by and introduce yourself. Always remember that the faculty members on campus are the ones with research opportunities, internship opportunities. Um, they'll know of departmental scholarships. You know, they've got a lot of great information, a lot of great resources to share with you. So building that relationship is huge. And you can see you're also gonna get to know your classmates. You know, with an average class size like that, you're gonna get to know the folks that are working right next to you. Um, I was a math major at BGSU. I don't know if any of you would be interested in pursuing a whole degree in math. Usually it's not the most popular thing out there, but um, you know, I knew every single one of my classmates and especially as we worked our way up at our math courses, I mean, we were leaning on each other left and right. You know, what, what maybe some of us didn't get, others did get, we would work together, you know, study together, just know that that is very real and that's absolutely something that we will encourage you to do here at BGSU. All right, aside from just learning on campus, we've got to talk about living on campus. So at BGSU, we typically have a two-year residency requirement. Students have to live on campus for their first two years. Unless you live within a 50-mile radius, then you do have the option to commute. For those living on campus with us, we've got 10 residence halls as well as 18 different learning communities. All right. When it comes to those residence halls, I've got a couple resources that I encourage you to check out. If you just straight Google BGSU Office of Residence Life, it'll bring you right to our Residence Life website. Through there, you'll be able to see first off a hall comparison guide. It will be basically give you a snapshot of our residence halls, show you the differences in cost, amenities, style, setup, all of those key pieces. And then I encourage you to take it a step further. We also offer 360 degree tours of all of our residence halls as well. Um, so that we can see the ins and outs of the halls, what they look like, get a feel for each one, start to see which ones interest you or rise to the top. And then we also have these learning and theme communities. Learning communities are basically a way for you to live with students that you have something in common with. Uh, so for example, there's a learning community for students majoring in business. There's one for students who simply like art. There's one for students who um, are interested in health and wellness. That's a couple quick examples. Check out the full list while you're on Residence Life site. Uh, you might see a learning community that interests you. 
you can think of it as almost like joining a student organization from the minute you move in on campus. You might not know anything else about all these strangers that we now tell you that you have to live near, but now you know you've got that one thing in common. And being a part of these learning communities allow you to have um, additional study group experiences. Um, oftentimes, maybe they're doing trips, projects, things like that. Um, it'll help you to very quickly, you know, get integrated to BGSU um, and quickly get to meet other folks that are living around you in that residence hall. Another piece to, of course, be thinking about during your college search is your health and wellness. We've got to take care of that as well. A few key players in all of this. First up, you'll see our Falcon Health Center. It's a doctor's office on campus. Um, it's located, of course, right on campus, easy to access. It's in partnership with our Wood County Hospital. This is a place you can go to should you get sick while you're with us, or if you need a place to be able to pick up prescriptions, things like that, just know we've got that resource for you. On the flip side, you've got to take care of your mental health as well. Um, and so that's where the counseling center comes into play. Um, you know, life's going to keep happening when you go away to college and maybe something happens and you need a listening ear. You need somebody to talk to. You're taking care of your mental health is absolutely key. And so just know we have that resource available for you at no additional cost here at BGSU. All right, here we go. Let's move on to clubs and organizations. Let's hear about what clubs. Let's hear about what student organizations. Let's hear about your hobbies. Type those in uh, on your phones and let's start seeing, you know, what types of things you all are hoping to get involved with when you go away to college. I see we've got one taker already who's interested in our surfing club. Yes, we do have it. No, I do not know where they surf. Um, I would guess they would need to take a trip or something. Not quite great surfing right here in Northwest Ohio. I think they traveled to Florida, if I remember correctly. Orchestras and choirs, absolutely. Those are options available to all students, regardless of major, which is pretty exciting. Somebody who's looking to go Greek, that's wonderful. Tennis, the Quidditch team. There we go, I love it. Let's see what else we've got. A lot of, lot of musicians here, just sports in general. Perfect, football, yes. This is awesome. Any other items you guys wanna throw up there? All right, let's dig into clubs and organizations at BGSU. Get involved. That's, of course, a huge part of going away to college, right? Um, so we've got a lot of ways for you to do so. And I know you're going to hear this time and time again as you look at schools of similar size to BGSU. So my overarching message to you all as we look at this slide is simply this. Always remember these are your four years. It is completely up to you how you wanna spend that time outside of the classroom. If there are hobbies and things you love doing and you wanna keep doing those and you go away to college, do it. You do not have to drop those hobbies that you have simply because our pond is getting a little bit bigger, right? Keep doing the things you love doing. But I also challenge you to try something new. You will also hear this time and time again. There's no time like college but it's true. This is gonna be an opportunity and a way for you to be able to try something that you maybe never even thought you'd be able to do. Um, you know, you'll have things that pop up and I guarantee you, you just kind of go, eh, what do I have to lose? And that's exactly right. Uh, you're gonna try new things. You're gonna meet some new people, but I guarantee you, you will absolutely find your group. You will find where you belong here at BGSU, but along the way, you are absolutely going to make a difference. You will make an impact. You will stand out here at BGSU and the things that matter to you. And that is one of the best things that I love about our college. So let's dig into it a little bit. So you can see we've got a lot of students who enjoy service learning. So if you enjoy community service, you've got a few thousand students right there alongside you. Um, there's ways to get involved um, both on and off campus when it comes to service projects and service opportunities with BGSU. Those student organizations, this is your way to get involved with different, you know, with students who maybe are involved in your major, uh, religious organizations, active organizations, being in bands, choirs, theaters, productions. Those are opportunities available to all students here at BGSU. Now, I know I saw quite a few of you thinking of bands, choirs, things like that. If you head over um, or even just search, you know, BGSU bands, BGSU choir, you know, head over basically to our College of Musical Arts page. There is an interest form that you can fill out to make sure you're getting information from our College of Musical arts um, about the ways to get involved with the bands and choirs at BGSU. And like I mentioned, they are open to all majors. You don't have to major in music to be involved in music. You can still keep involved in those things you love, even if that's not exactly what you choose to major in. That's completely okay. And that's what a lot of students choose to do. So just keep that in mind. 
Typically every year we do an event called Campus Fest. Um, it's that typical movie scene where we've got tents, tables, booths, things like that spread out all throughout campus. And it's a way for you to be able to start to explore, you know, what those options are at BGSU. So we kind of turned Campus Fest virtual this year, of course, but, you know, basically it's a way for you to be able to check out all those organizations, you know, see what's ones interest you. You know, maybe you've never heard of I don't know, maybe you've never heard of the Quidditch team before. I know one of you've heard of it, but maybe others are like, what is that? And maybe you check it out and you think, that sounds fun, I'll give that a try. That's what it's about. Try it, give it a shot. If you love it, keep doing it. If you're like, man, maybe this isn't the right fit for me, find something else to love. You will have that flexibility and that ability to decide, again, you know, what you want to be involved in. When it comes to athletics, we're a division one school. We have 18 D1 teams here at BGSU. What's nice is that students, you do get into sporting events at no additional cost. Um, and so when those D1 sports come back in action with crowds and things like that, it'll be a great way for you to be able to participate. Um, and so just know that that's, you know, will be a part of your BGSU experience. I know it's hard to think about right now, but the Mac will be back, don't worry. Um, and so being able to go to a football game, basketball, volleyball, hockey, you know, all of those things are fun experiences that you'll be able to be a part of. If you want to play sports, but maybe not quite at that D1 level, we have club sports. They still travel. They still compete. It's more like a D3 level. And then we also have intramural sports. That's just friendly competition against other students here on campus. And if you're more of a solo athlete, you'll of course always have access to our student recreation center at no additional cost. And then last but certainly not least, you'll see we of course offer Greek life here at BGSU. Um, Greek life comes in a few different forms at Bowling Green. Um, we have your typical social stories and fraternities, what you might think of going Greek, that Panhellenic Greek, that's where the category that falls into. Um, we have um, co-ed fraternities here on campus. It's more like joining a student organization. So they're based around things like leadership, scholarship, service, things like that. And then we also offer multicultural sororities and fraternities here at BGSU as well. Um, and so just know that if that's an area you wanna get involved in, absolutely. I always say about 10 to 12% of our student body chooses to go Greek. My best way to help you visualize it is simply this. I bet your friends that do it. I bet your friends that don't do it, we won't be a school where you feel pressured to join. Um, so you can see all these options are out there for a reason. Students asked for them. Um, and so again, you'll find how you wanna spend your time and it'll be completely up to you. All right, that was the first half. That was the general BGSU information. Let's dig into the nitty gritty of it all. So here you'll see our admissions timeline. So the steps you need to take in order to be considered for admission to BGSU. Of course, first up is applying. Um, you can apply to BGSU one of two ways, through our website at bgsu.edu or through the common application. I have, we have no preference either way. All the information comes through the same way to us. However, I will tell you that our application is free if you apply at bgsu.edu all the way until January 15th of your senior year. So for my fall 2021 folks in the room, the, that $45 fee is waived until January 15th if you apply directly through our website. We do not, however, have a fee waiver through Common App, so I just want to make note of that. So just keep that piece in mind. The application through our website will take you about 10 to 15 minutes. We do not require essays. We do not require letters of recommendation. It is quick and painless, I promise. Once you apply, we'll of course need some credentials. We will, at the very least, we will need your official high school transcript through the end of your junior year. You'll wanna make sure you connect with your high school counselor, let them know that you applied to BGSU and let them know the method you use to apply, Common App or BG App, and then your high school counselor will take care of sending your official transcript to us on your behalf. If you were unable to test as a result of COVID-19, you will be able to indicate that on your BGSU admissions application, and we can waive that test score requirement and just review you based off of your high school transcript. However, if you were able to take a test, you'll want to make sure to send that test score our way as well. We do super score here at BGSU. Once we have the pieces we need, application, transcript, potentially also test score, give us about two weeks, you should be hearing from us. Hopefully it's an email, letter in the mail that says, congratulations, you've been admitted, and we're gonna help you get started on your next steps. In your admissions email, letter in the mail, you're gonna get your official BGSU ID number. You're gonna use that to create what's called your My BGSU account. This My BGSU account is of course your online portal with us. When you create that account, you're gonna simultaneously create your BGSU email with us as well. Now, all this being said, I wanna take a quick pause and let you know that applying to BGSU, getting admitted to BGSU, making this my BGSU account, 
none of these things are obligating you to attend, okay? Not a single one of these things are obligating you to attend, all right? Applying, you know, potentially getting admitted, that's just letting you know BGSU is an option, okay? Once you get admitted, the main reason you wanna make that My BGSU account is for the second bullet point you see on your screen. So you can apply for more scholarships with us, right? That's key. Um, and so just know that it's never gonna make you, it's not forcing your hand to attend BGSU. It is setting you up for success in the future. What I mean by that, senior years in two halves, right? Fall semester, that's when you should be applying to colleges, applying to scholarships, and applying for federal aid. Spring semester, that's when you see what scholarships did you get? What does your aid offer look like? Which college is your right fit? What's that decision? Um, so that's kind of how it, it, it goes. So you gotta do the legwork now to, to reap the rewards and reap the benefits later. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna talk about scholarships a lot in a couple slides, so stick with me. A couple of next step processes that will also run through that My BGSU account, should we be your right fit, um, are the housing process and the orientation reservation process. Our housing process is divided into three phases. Um, phase one is making your initial housing payment as your first step in committing to BGSU. This will kick off February 1st of your senior year. Phase two is the roommate matching process. We do have a roommate matching feature built right into our housing application. So just keep that in mind. We'll have that available to you during spring semester. And then phase three is actually picking your room. So you'll get assigned a room selection date and time. You know that's your chance to log in to your MyBGSU account, um, see what rooms are available on campus. You pick your room based on what's open when it's your turn to pick, okay? And then again, the orientation reservation process. This will take place, um, again, spring semester of senior year during that deciding time. Again, if we're your right fit, you'll be able to reserve your SOAR date, Student Orientation Advising and Registration is what that stands for. Um, we will do SOAR dates all throughout the summer. You'll pick the date that works best for you, best for your family. This is your way to get your fall class schedule, hear from those key players like the Office of the Bursar, Financial Aid, Residence life, dining, get you ready for August move-in and August bill time. And here we'll see the costs. You'll see the costs for both in-state students as well as out-of-state students. For any out-of-state folks in their room here today, um, you'll see that there is a non-resident fee, but we also, of course, have a scholarship to go with it. Um, we have what's called our BG Success Scholarship that can take half off that non-resident fee if you have either a 3.0 cumulative GPA in high school or a 20 composite ACT or a 1040 composite SAT, as long as you get one of those three benchmarks, you'll automatically qualify for this BG Success Scholarship as long as you apply to BG by January 15th. So just keep that in mind. And of course, that scholarship's renewable. For everybody in the room, you'll see there's three important words at the top of the screen, Falcon Tuition Guarantee. It lets you know that the tuition fees, the housing rates, as well as the meal plan rates that you were given when you first enroll with us at BGSU, you're locked into those for four years. Helps with planning, budgeting, knowing what to expect year after year. All right, let's go talking about those scholarships. I think that was the number one thing y'all wanted to hear about today, so let's dig in. So the big scholarship we do in the Office of Admissions, aside from the BG Success for out-of-state students, is our University Freshman Academic Scholarship, and this scholarship is great for a few reasons. First up, it's automatic. By applying to BGSU by January 15th of your senior year, you are automatically also applying to this scholarship, okay? This scholarship is renewable. Should you be awarded a freshman scholarship, it is renewable for up to four years, as long as you keep up a 3.0 with us and complete 30 credit hours over the course of the whole academic year, all right? Another reason this scholarship is great, you have all the way until May 1st to submit credentials to be reviewed or re-reviewed for this scholarship. So as long as you at least apply for admission by January 15th, you now have all the way until May 1 for my fall 2021 folks in the room to submit credentials for this scholarship, okay? This is a scholarship you can be reviewed for without a test score, so please keep that in mind if you were unable to test due to COVID. Um, but for this scholarship, it's purely merit-based. We're looking at potentially your transcript and your test score, or just your transcript if that's all you have, um, to hopefully award you a scholarship in the range of $1,000 to $8,000. If you head to that calculator that you see on the screen at the link at the bottom, this will allow you to plug in your GPA, plug in your test score, and get a better idea as to where you're going to fall in that one to $8,000 range, okay? And like I said, you know, even if you apply to BG now, let's say you get admitted now, but you're able to test or um, retest, or your GPA goes up on the first semester of senior year, 
fantastic. Send those new credentials our way. As long as it's before May 1, we will automatically re-review anything you send us. And if it can bump you up in scholarship dollars, we are sending out a new scholarship offer. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, the other area where you will find scholarships is through that MyBGSU account we talked about earlier, okay? Through that MyBGSU account is your way to be able to access what's called our searchable scholarship guide. The searchable scholarship guide allows you to fill out one general application so you can be reviewed for the scholarships that are applicable to you. So these scholarships are from all different areas of campus. You know, some are major based, um, some are leadership based, need based, volunteer based. They come from all areas of campus and get funneled into the searchable scholarship guide and you all just need to worry about filling out that one general application. The searchable scholarship guide opens up on October 1st for admitted students. The scholarships in there for incoming freshmen have a deadline of January 15th, so just keep that in mind, okay? I tell students typically I would advise applying for BGSU at the very latest by about November of your senior year. That way you have time to submit your application, submit your credentials, get reviewed, and then still have time to fill out this scholarship application, okay? You wanna be able to hopefully get awarded multiple scholarships, right? Um, and so just know that filling out that searchable scholarship guide is your way to be able to be considered for scholarships beyond simply what we're doing in the Office of Admissions. Another important piece to know about the searchable scholarship guide, it's something that you'll wanna fill out every year you're with us. There are different scholarships for incoming students versus current BGSU students. So just the same way that you fill out that FAFSA every year, you'll also fill out the searchable scholarship guide application every year. And then the third and final area where you'll find scholarships with us at BGSU is through the Honors College. So if you do decide to apply to the Honors College, know that they also have scholarships that you could be considered for um, that are tied to that Honors College application. All right. Now another piece to affording your education is filling out that FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It's available to you at studentaid.gov. This also opens up on October 1st every year. This also has a priority deadline at BGSU of January 15th. That means that's the date you want to file the FAFSA by in order to receive the maximum amount of aid you could be eligible for. As a reminder, the FAFSA is your way to be considered for federal loans, grants, work study. Some scholarships just want to see a FAFSA on file. As long as you file that FAFSA by that January 15th deadline, um, you know, that is our way to get that information from you. You can file it, of course, after that date. Please know that if you missed January 15th, that's okay. You can submit a FAFSA beyond that date. But basically, if you want to be in the first round of financial aid offer packaging, that's the date to keep in mind. You file that FAFSA. At the end of the FAFSA, you'll indicate any and all schools that you want to receive your FAFSA information. On our end, our financial aid office receives that information. They'll compile your aid offer and send it out to you. That way you can see, you know, what that out-of-pocket cost to attend BGSU is looking like, okay? And we typically send those out at the end of February, so just keep that in mind. All right, well, last but you know, not least, as we head towards the end here, we've got to talk about what's after BGSU as well. You know, we might be your next stepping stone, but that's just it we're a stepping stone. We've got to get you ready for what's beyond BG, whether that's further schooling, military service, a full-time job, whatever that could be. One of the key players in all of this is our career center. They'll be there, of course, to help you and support you every step along the way. Their office is located right within our student union. As you can guess, this will be a place that you're visiting frequently. Whether you're popping by Starbucks, swinging by Falcon Outfitters for a new sweatshirt for the game, whatever it could be, maybe just using one of the study spaces in there, um, it'll be a place that you visit frequently. Uh, and so make the Career Center one of your stops. They do a lot of events just to get students in the door, familiar with them, what they do, and the services they can provide. They will, of course, have things like resume writing, uh, excuse me, resume writing workshops, cover letter workshops, interview preparation. I mean, these folks will walk you over to your first job fair. They want to measure that by the time you're doing these things for real, for an internship, or a co-op, or a full-time job from graduation. Now you know how to talk to employers. You know how to shake hands. These are skills to learn, and they can absolutely help you get there, okay? They can also help if you're considering, you know, having a part-time job while you're here with us at BGSU. There's about 4,500 positions for students on campus. So if you want to be able to have a little part-time job with us at BGSU, absolutely an option. Whether it's being a tour guide with us at admissions, being a lifeguard at the recreation center, um, working for dining, working for an office on campus, there's a lot of student positions. So just know that that'll absolutely be an opportunity for you. 
Of course, we want to invite you to stay connected. As you can guess, we're an every form of social media out there. So if you want to stay in touch with what's new and what's going on here at BGSU, these are all the different ways to do it. Um, I know many of you might not be on Facebook anymore, but bear with me. Um, we do each year have our BGSU class of Facebook group. It's one of the best ways that we have to allow you all to connect with one another, um, be able to chat with one another, introduce yourselves. And a lot of folks will find their roommates on that Facebook group. Um, a lot of folks will just start to make friends before they ever even step foot on campus. Um, and so just know it's a great resource. So if you're willing to fire that Facebook back up uh, and use it to introduce yourself, post some pictures, things like that, um, you know, there's a lot of ways to be able to connect with other future Falcons. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then, of course, I want to make sure you guys have some information should you want to be able to contact us. So on the screen, you'll see the email for the Office of Admissions. Um, please know that this is, of course, an active resource we are working through every single day. So if you have any questions or any things that we might be able to help out with, um, this is the email to do so. I also want to, of course, invite you all um, you know, to, to use this email and to use our Office of Admissions website to explore all the offerings that we have right now. Um, so we, as you can guess, we of course have a full virtual visit BGSU website. Um, we are doing virtual offerings for not only Office of Admissions presentations, um, we've got things like a school, a full scholarship webinar. You want to hear about scholarships in depth? In depth tune in tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we're doing a full scholarship webinar and we typically do this about every other week or so. Um, you know, we have academic uh, webinars that we're doing. So things hosted by our School of Art. Um, you know, we recently had a presentation about our forensics programs and criminal justice, um, our College of Business. You know, there's a lot of ways to, of course, connect with us from afar. Or if you're interested, we are open for in-person visits as well. Our September calendar is full, but we will be opening our October visit calendar um, later this week. And so if you're interested in being able to learn more about our in-person visits and how we have safely reopened to visitors here at BGSU, just shoot a quick email. Shoot an email to choosebgsu at bgsu.edu and say, hey, I was in the OACC webinar. Sarah said to shoot me an email or to shoot an email if I was interested in in-person visits, can I get more info? They will connect you with your personal admissions counselor here at BGSU so we can make sure that you know all about our in-person visits, what to expect, what we're offering, and how to sign up. So just know that we also have that as an offer here at BGSU as well. All right. So we've pretty much hit the end. Um, I know we've only got a couple minutes left here. So um, let's see, I, I asked Katie to of course send me any questions that need addressed openly or on the air. Looks like she just sent me one about CCP. Can we talk about CCP credits transferring um, and all of that? So. If you have taken um, CCP courses or have basically taken a college course during your time in high school, first of all, that's fantastic. It is such a great opportunity. Um, one resource I want to suggest to you all, if you haven't explored it already, is the website transferology.com. It's the word transfer, O-L-O-G-Y dot com. You will log into that site. You'll just need an email, create an email address, password, you know, log in for it. You will be able to list any of the college courses you have taken or are currently taking. Um, you will then, and you'll like add them to your shopping cart. There'll be a big plus sign. You like add them to your cart. You will then click the search for matches button on that website and you can start to explore how those courses transfer to other universities and institutions. So definitely check that resource out. Um, we also have transfer equivalency guides on our admissions site if you wanna check those out for a lot of the main local community colleges in the state. Ultimately, when you apply to BGSU, you will um, uh, be able to indicate that you have taken college courses and where you're taking those courses through. When you are finished with your CCP courses, you will want to make sure to send an official college transcript our way, okay? Even if your high school transcript lists that you have taken um, English 101 at your local community college, doesn't matter. In order for you to get the transfer credit, we need an official college transcript to be sent our way. And like I said, this can be sent our way once you are finished with those um, college courses, okay? And then Katie also said maybe quickly touch base on the first step to apply. So the first step when it comes to applying is filling out that online application. And you can either do it through the common application 
or through our BGSU website. Don't do both. We just need one or the other. You can either tack BGSU on to your Common App or you can apply to our website if you want to directly go to the application. The vanity URL is just bgsu.edu slash apply. It'll take you right to our admissions application. Um, and like I said, the $45 application fee is waived if you choose to apply through the BGSU website. All right. If you have any other questions, of course, um, feel free to send them over to us via email. Um, please feel free to keep in touch that way. Um, like I said, we're constantly checking it. We'll make sure to get you the information, the answers that you need, even beyond just our webinar here today. Um, we've got about two more minutes, so you can also pop them in the chat, um, and Katie can help when it comes to that piece as well. But of course, last but not least, just thank you for taking the time to join. Like I said, I know y'all are doing a lot virtually right now. You're doing a lot of webinars and things like that. So um, I hope you had some fun here today. I hope you enjoyed getting to interact with other participants in the webinar. Um, and we look forward to, of course, continuing to work with you um, and be able to keep in touch and stay connected even just beyond today. So thank you. We appreciate it. Well, thank you everyone, Sarah. That was awesome. A very fun presentation about Bowling Green State University. And students, I just encourage you to do a very quick four question survey as you close out this window. Remember too that there are always more sessions you and your family can attend to learn more about your journey to college this next fall or whenever that ends up happening. And remember too that Sarah's presentation today has been recorded and that website again is www.oacac.org. Thank you so much for visiting one of our Ohio Association of College Admission Counselors presentations. Have a great journey, enjoy your senior year. Bye Sarah. <laughs>